a warm welcome, first of all, to Alexandra Bunswai. Mm -hmm. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Alexandra Bunswai. I'm a singer and actress from Laos. In Laos, we say Savaidi to greet. Um, Laos is a small landlocked country in Southeast Asia, a country that features an amazing diversity in landscape and nature, a diversity which is worth preserving, a diversity which I'm keen to protect. It's a great pleasure to see many of you here today at this conference. It is amazing to see so much effort and in fact progress to close ivory markets all around the world and to protect endangered species. Fighting illegal wildlife trade in Laos and in Southeast Asia is a key challenge of our time. But all too often, I just think that it is a problem that we shouldn't be facing with in this 21st century anymore. We live in an age of enlightenment where any piece of knowledge and information is just a click and a button away. And still, people consume products such as tiger wine, bear bile, or rhino horn, following dubious advice from doctors and quacksters. In Southeast Asia, this is all too easy and present in daily life. As ivory products, anyone can get a hold of these in the major markets. There are marketed specifically to some neighboring tourists visiting Vientiane and our beautiful world heritage town of Luang Prabang. I don't understand how someone could decorate a living room with ivory knowing that it must have been forcefully taken from an innocent elephant. And I can't understand how you can enjoy a wonderful, relaxing holiday in Laos with its amazing nature and wildlife, and then take home a souvenir that contradicts every aspect of this experience. One time, a businessman invited me and my family to a Chinese restaurant. He ordered bear paws as he wanted to impress us. I was very shocked when I saw the bear paws covered in sauce in the middle of my table. I don't, I couldn't eat it, I just couldn't. All I can think of is a heavy bear playing in the forest before he was killed and relieved of his paws for someone's dinner tonight. My stomach felt sick. I eventually realized that this is a bigger problem, reading the daily news covering how a whole truck got caught between Laos and China Inside the truck was filled with bears, all dead. This makes clear that this isn't just a culinary hobby. It's an industry that lives of bad people make money out of it. If it doesn't stop, soon see some of, we'll see some of the most amazing animals on our planet become extinct. Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, when I was approached by the British Embassy in Vientiane, and they asked me whether I wanted to become ambassador for the Ivory Alliance. I accepted it with one heartbeat. This is a chance for me to create awareness internationally of the challenges that Laos is facing, and at the same time, creating awareness among my own people. The job ahead is clear, but nevertheless challenging. We need to urgently work on both ends of the value chain, fighting production and at the same time curbing demand. This is a value chain which in the end doesn't create but destroys value. In fact, illegal wildlife trade deprives future ger generations of value, value that we can't even measure in monetary terms. I will therefore do my very best to help mobilize young people from Laos, the region in the world, to get engaged. It takes concerted effort to end wildlife crime. 
The establishment of the Ivory Alliance 2024 is an important step to channel and multiply this effort. I'm proud to be a part of it. Thank you very much for your attention. Uh, thank you very much indeed, Alexandra, for everything you do and are going to do. And another example.